Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about how you can support your baby's bone growth, immune system, and neurological health through the use of vitamin D. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I've been a registered nurse since 2009, working in mother-baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC, I'm maternal newborn nursing certified, and I've received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, as well as perinatal bereavement. Vitamin D is necessary for proper human health and functioning. It's so important to maintain adequate levels of vitamin D, and yet many of us have vitamin D deficiency. Babies are especially vulnerable to vitamin D deficiency. Let's explore what causes vitamin D deficiency in babies and how to treat it. Vitamin D is an essential vitamin for everyone's health, but especially your baby. Babies grow rapidly in the first couple years of life. Part of this growth is bone development, which involves the absorption of calcium to build those strong bones. Calcium absorption requires proper vitamin D levels in the body. In recent years, scientists have started to understand the importance of vitamin D in the human body, and it goes way beyond bone building. Vitamin D has been linked to numerous positive health benefits, including proper brain functioning and a strong immune system. When babies do not have adequate levels of vitamin D, it can lead to diseases like rickets. Rickets is a disease that softens a child's bones. This causes the bones to weaken and can lead to delays in crawling, delays in walking, fractures, soft skulls, and bow-leggedness. Unfortunately, rickets is on the rise in children due to vitamin D deficiency. There are a few ways we get vitamin D. Vitamin D is produced by our bodies after exposure to direct sunlight. This is traditionally the most common way we get vitamin D. Due to our lives moving indoors, many people do not get enough sunlight to make the vitamin D they need. Another way to get vitamin D is through certain foods in our diet. Unfortunately, vitamin D is not naturally found in many foods. Some foods where you can find vitamin D include egg yolks, beef liver, cod liver oil, fortified dairy products, and fish including tuna, salmon, and mackerel. When we aren't able to receive enough vitamin D through diet or sunlight, we must rely on vitamin D supplementation. This is when you take a vitamin D pill every day. There are many reasons why babies don't receive enough vitamin D. Starting with exposure to sunlight, babies have very sensitive skin and therefore shouldn't be exposed to a lot of direct sunlight in the first few months. In fact, the American Academy of Pediatrics, or AAP, recommends that babies under six months of age should not be exposed to direct sunlight. After six months of age, babies can go out in the sunlight, but the AAP recommends the use of sunscreen and protective clothing. These scenarios make it difficult for babies to obtain adequate amounts of vitamin D. Also, babies with darker skin need increased amounts of time in direct sunlight to produce appropriate amounts of vitamin D. This makes it even harder for them to maintain adequate vitamin D levels. Most breastfeeding mothers think that because their vitamin D levels are good, their baby will get plenty of vitamin D through the breast milk. They also believe that if they supplement with vitamin D or prenatal vitamins, their levels will be high enough to give their baby all the vitamin D the baby needs. Unfortunately, this is not the case. Breast milk is specially designed for your baby and contains all the nutrients your baby needs except adequate vitamin D. Breastfed babies do not receive enough vitamin D from breastfeeding because vitamin D does not pass through easily into the breast milk. A typical prenatal vitamin contains 600 international units of vitamin D, which is not enough for both mom and baby. 
Even if her breast milk is full of enough vitamin D, there is no accurate way to determine if the baby has received enough vitamin D in the feeding they just received. Before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about how much vitamin D your baby needs. The American Academy of Pediatrics, or AAP, recommends that all infants get 400 international units of vitamin D per day. Formula feeding babies will usually get this from their daily formula intake because formula is fortified with vitamin D. Babies who are breastfed, even if they partially receive formula, do not meet this intake of vitamin D. As a result, your pediatrician may recommend daily vitamin D supplementation in the form of vitamin D drops. These can be purchased from the local pharmacy. This supplementation is recommended by the AAP to continue until your baby is drinking at least four cups of whole milk daily. Whole milk is supplemented with vitamin D and therefore four cups of milk provides enough daily vitamin D for your baby. It's important to work with your pediatrician to determine the right time to stop vitamin D supplementation. The Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine has also recommended that breastfeeding infants be supplemented with vitamin D. They recommend vitamin D3 or cholecalciferol due to its superior absorption. Additionally, they recommend breastfeeding mothers take adequate amounts of vitamin D to ensure their breast milk is of the highest quality. Just because vitamin D is a vitamin doesn't mean you can't overdo it. Vitamin D can have serious consequences if too much is taken. Signs of having too much vitamin D include nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, confusion, excessive thirst, excessive urination, abdominal pain, constipation, muscle aches and pain, fatigue, and even kidney damage and kidney failure. The Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, has released a warning about infants overdosing on liquid vitamin D supplements. That's why it is especially important to follow the directions given by your pediatrician. Never give more vitamin D than what you have been told to give to your baby. If your baby is experiencing any of these symptoms mentioned or you have any questions, you need to contact your pediatrician immediately. Vitamin D deficiency in babies can have serious long-term health consequences. Fortunately, it is easily prevented through vitamin D supplementation. I hope this has explained why vitamin D supplementation can be so important for the health of your baby and the signs to look for if you suspect vitamin D overdose. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.